What's up, y'all? Bosh Lombardi here. Um, the Doski Woski is is very much so a thing. If you're asking about the Peaski Whiskey, there's a full bottle of it in the pantry. You can go grab it. You can take as much as you like. The Peaski Whiskey costs you costs you nothing. It comes with comes with the Doski Woski. It's uh, complimentary. Um, busy little morning. I dropped two film sessions. We took a look at uh. Alabama's Josh Jacobs and Damian Harris. Those are both running backs. So, uh, you know, if you're interested in looking at running backs, then there you go. You can go take a look at that. That's more for the non-cowboy um, constituents, so to speak. Um, so I'm going to give you this flat-out cowboy video. We're going to talk about George I. Loka today. Uh, let me cut my volume up. <clears throat> testing, testing. Is that better? Y'all, y'all tell me about my volume. Is that volume a little better for you? <clears throat> give me give me the heads up on that. It looks like my level's fine over here, but y'all let me know. Um so with typical fashion, you know, whenever the 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 Cowboys fully sign somebody, you know, when it's when it's written in stone, um of course there's research to be had, okay? I haven't done a Robert Quinn video. I haven't addressed it, haven't done any film on it, and I don't plan on doing it until we actually get Robert Quinn on the team because if I do three Robert Quinn videos and he ends up going to I don't know, the uh Arizona Hot Shots or something, I'm going to be pretty pissed. So we're going to wait on that. We're going to wait on that. So what I'm looking at today is George Iloka. Um, he is a Dallas Cowboy now. He's on paper. So I, I started to do a little bit of research on Dave Iloka. And uh, I said, Dave, my bad, George Iloka. And the first thing I did was I went to go uh, get a look at some film. I wanted to look at stats. I wanted to compare and contrast, right? I know that he's a name that people are quasi-familiar with. And I know that with that comes extra hype. Uh, I'm sure everybody in this chat box knows uh, a brand of cowboy fan that were really wishing that we got Kenny Vaccaro. Well, Kenny Vaccaro has been trashed for the last couple of years, but he's living off old bodies. He's living off those old saints bodies that he's got. Um, Kenny as of late ain't necessarily what he is. So I'm, I, I always try to be extra careful when it comes to these opinions. I know people listen to what I got to say, um, you know, Apart from what I try to tell them, I always try to tell people to, to do your own research and just come to me for confirmation or consultation. You know what I mean? Do your own thing. Um, but a lot of people really listen to what I got to say, so I got to really be careful when I say these things, right? And I saw one tweet from Ian Rappaport, I believe it was, it was him, and it was like, Cowboys signed George I. Loka. They got their safety. You know what I mean? And the excitement Illuminati can kind of do that to you, you know? The you know you you've been sitting dormant in free agency for the most part you know Earl's gone you didn't sign Eric because of injury or whatever um, and you really been craving free agent signings then Ian Rappaport who's got a lot of clout and followers he say they finally got their safety well to to the to the common eye you would you would believe <laughs> that we got our safety well. Um, I just want to put a little film on the screen today. I just want to put some stats and numbers on the screen, and I just want to give my opinion, okay? I have my thoughts about it already because I looked at this last night, but um, but I just want to, you know, be a little righteous about y'all. You know what I mean? So when I uh, when I went to the game pass to go look at the film of George Iloka, um, I'm typically, what have you done for me lately, guy? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um I looked last year, and he had, like, 19 plays. I'm like, damn, was he hurt? <laughs> like, was he injured or something? Why he only got, why he only got 19 plays? Uh, not even watching the film, right? So I hit up my Vikings consultant. My bro said he fresh. Um, and he's, you know, I I asked him, I said, yo, fam, what's the what's the deal with this George Iloka guy? You know, you know, he had a little hype when he was, uh, when he was a Bengal guy, but, you know, What's the deal? Why he only got 19, uh, 19 plays? Like, was he hurt? He was like, nah, nah, he, he wasn't hurt. He wasn't hurt. I was, like, I was like, well, 
was up with him. And he was basically telling me that the Vikings brass thought it was a better idea to go with this young and up and coming guy and a rotation of this other cat. And they just kind of had George on the bench. I said, well, okay, he's a, he's a bench guy. Let me go look up some of the plays where he wasn't on the bench. And he was doing a lot of special team shit. He was, on, <laughs> he was hitting a lot of people on kickoff team. I was like, okay, George, I loca. Let me temper these expectations. Let me let me let me let me get into my research bag. You know what I mean? Um, Ricardo says he got 19 plays because the Vikings coaching staff sucks. That's a bit extreme, my guy. Um, you can talk about the Vikings offensive staff all you want to, but but I think those guys have a pretty good grasp on what's going on defensively. Anyway, um, so I you know he played a lot of special teams, my guy, a lot of special team, my guys and gals that are in this um, chat box today. So I'm like, damn, dog, how are we gonna replace Jeff Heath with a with a cat coming off the bench? You know what I'm saying? Um, I dig into my research a little bit more and. My Vikings consultant, Sadie Fresh, kind of hit me with a gem that kind of made a little sense to him. He said, there's a reason why the Bengals just kind of let him walk out the crib and why he's on the Vikings squad and he only played 19 snaps. There's, there's probably a reason why. You could probably get a little more bang for your buck. Okay, cool. So let's look at the screen here. I'm going to take Lil Vach off and we're going to pull up some stats. And after that, we're going to look at some film because I try to be comprehensive. I try to be clear here. And of course he's a he's a Boise State guy, which is hilarious to me. Which just boy, boy, as a as a Cowboys fan, that just make my teeth white every time. Just I, every time I say Boise State, I feel a little better. Uh all right, cool. Those stats right there. Let me look in the chat box real fast. I ain't showed y'all no love this morning. I just came in and started talking. I ain't say nothing. Forever DC, what's happening? Tamira, what's happening? Ricardo, Jesus is B77. What's up, my guy? Uh, he takes bad angles. Okay, cool. Mike VA Beach was good. Lester, Randy, Derek up in here. Jimmy up in here. What's up, Jimmy? Uh, Charlie, Cody, forty three flex. Coach Evans up in here. Go check his channel out. And they go Sandy Fresh. What's up, man? What's up, my guy? Sandy Fresh. Okay, there. Well, there it goes right there. My my Vikings consultant. Sheila's up in here again. Sheila watch way more film than y'all. Anyway. Um, Matt S. He says uh, Jeff Heath is a free safety that's been playing strong safety. Aloka is a is a strong safety. Well, Segway Jones, let me go ahead and get in, get into that then. How the Cowboys play their safeties? They typically um, play both. You know what I mean? They 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 play high and low. Um, so good point there, Matt. So if you if you take a look at our guys personnel wise, right? Um, Jeff Heath is a guy that can play high and low. Xavier Woods is a guy that can play high and low. If you watch film on on Iloka, I prefer him playing low than high. But it's a lot of film of him playing high. Playing free safety with range and depth opposed to playing at the line of scrimmage. I would rather him at the line of scrimmage. I would rather him be a tackler. I don't like him in space. I don't like him trying to cover grass or his range game. To be fair, I think Jeff Heath has a better grass coverage range uh, game, you know, uh, just in my personal opinion. I like Jeff Heath as a, uh, as a, as a cover guy a little bit more. But we'll, we'll get into all that. Let's take a look at these stats real fast. <clears throat> I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm excited. And I like excitement. Meet someone new in your area. What the hell going on, ESPN? Okay, uh, here we go. So, so this was his his Vikings tenure. We're not gonna look at that. We're not gonna look at his Vikings tenure. Let's let's uh let's get straight into this last year of of Bengal play. Cause I'm very what have you done for me lately, guy. Um, and he played all these snaps here. Uh okay, so that's total. So he had fifty four uh fifty four solo tackles, which is what I hold um most important. Um fifty four solo tackles and let's go to interceptions. Where is intercept? And he had and he had and he had one interception. Okay. So what I did when I was looking at this, I tried to compare Iloka's last year to Heath's last year because you know he's only really been starting for like two years for us he's been around but he's been a rotational guy I think I locus played more but if you look at Heath's last full year which was last year Heath not only had more more solo tackles same same number of interceptions whatever um but if you Jeff Heath having 63 solo tackles on a defense full of people that's tackling the shit out of people that's pretty fly to me 
right? That 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 means a lot to me. I remember playing high school ball. I was mostly a center, and I played nothing but center. And I remember on senior night, it was actually senior day. We moved it to that to the next Saturday morning. Senior day, I walked up to the D line coach because I never played a lot of D line. I say, Coach Baldwin, can I play one snap of D line? <laughs> you know what I mean? And I didn't tackle nobody, but what I did do is I fell on the pile. I fell on the pile, and I was in the newspaper. I was credited with a, with a with a whole tackle the next day, with an assist, I would say. So. Just in my football journey, I've lost a lot of respect for assists. And George Aloka got a lot of damn assists, right? He got 80 assists, but only 54, uh, 54 solos. Jeff Heath has more um, has more uh, more solos than George Aloka, and he also has more total tackles than him as well. Same, same number of interceptions, right? This is just me looking at stats. This don't mean nothing. This this don't mean nothing because I'm not stat guy, I'm film guy. But I just kind of want to paint the picture before I cut the film on. I think what happens to a lot of Dallas Cowboys fans as I as I open up uh, Jeff Heath's 2017 film, as I um as I think about Dallas Cowboy fan, I'm gonna write a book about y'all. Cowboy fans, like I'm gonna do a documentary. I'm gonna just talk about y'all's behaviors and things. I think what and I'm saying y'all because I'm talking about the 80, the 80, 80, uh, the 80 percent guys, not the, you know, the ones I, you know, that I chill with, but the 80s, right? Y'all know who I'm talking about. I think they take the last impression that they got and they run with that and they forget about the whole damn season. If you look at what most Cowboy fans think the needs are of this team are basically who played bad in the Rams game, <laughs> right? Um, I've been on this crusade of drafting offensive linemen. Dak Prescott got sacked 58 times. Um, if he's going to be your guy, if he's going to be be if he's going to be your quarterback, get some offensive line of him in here and make that offensive line a, a damn Ferrari. Get this thing as comfortable as possible. Add some receiver help. We've done that. If Dak's going to be our guy, upgrade everything offense because the defense was elite. You know what I'm saying? The the defense as a whole only had two bad games last year. That's uh, That was against the Rams and that was against the Colts. Last year, the offensive line probably had two good games last year, right? So I've been pro-offensive line, but when you look at, at, at Cowboy fans and what they want the most, what they're banging the table for, what they're banging the table for is the last thing in their minds, and they remember – us not being able to stop the run. So all of a sudden, defensive tackle is this big need. And they saw Jeff Heath miss a tackle on the last play or or miss the read and not tackle Jared Goff on the last play. So now strong safety is this super really bad need. To where if you go to some of my comment sections, some of my chat boxes in the middle of the season, we're looking at Jeff Heath like he's a steal. Like, man, we paying Jeff Heath not a lot of money. And he's making plays for us. He, I think he, he, he's he got the most interceptions out of the active guys. Maybe Sean Lee got more. But Jeff probably got more interceptions than than, than, than Byron, I believe. Byron and Cheeto put, like, not put together, but he totally wise. Total wise. You know what I mean? And somebody could fact check me on that. This is just me filibustering off the top of my head. But all of a sudden, after this last game, Jeff, he's got to go. When Lael's been bad for 19, uh, for uh, 16, uh, 18 games, Jeff has one bad game. He got to go. Jeff probably gave up a total of three plays last year. For a guy that's on your books for about what, like a million dollars maybe? That ain't terrible. Now, if you want to draft a strong safety, cool. But I'm not just in a rush to get rid of Jeff Heath unless it's a super, like a super replacement. You want to bring in Earl Thomas and put Xavier Woods at strong safety? Cool. I ain't pushing Jeff Heath off a bridge for George I. Loka. Hell wrong with you? <laughs> George I. Loka? We get we get we get mad ungrateful when it comes to Jeff Heath. When we on the last drive versus the Buccaneers and Jameis throw the interception and he he oh he's clutched in the motherfucker then. Oh, he's clutch as hell then. We love him then. And he cheap. Oh boy. <laughs> but he missed Jared Goff is a problem now. Which is pretty strange to me. Anyway, um, 
Let's get back. Let's get back to this though, man. Let's get back. And he ain't been a perfect player, but I'm very what have you done for me lately guy. You know what I mean? And I think 2017, 2018 Heath is nothing like 2015, 2016 Heath. But we ain't got 2015 Heath. We got 2018 Heath. Ganja Man says, how many sacks did Leo Collins give up? Well, if you've been watching my film throughout the Throughout the season, I screamed at Leo Collins a lot. I got some whole game film if you go look on my channel. My channel is a gold mine of Cowboys film, man. That, and that sounds kind of grandiose, but go uh, go and check out my my Leo Collins rants, and you'll uh, and you'll check that out. It's just strange to me that nobody wants offensive line help till it's gone. <laughs> You know what I mean? Till you really need it. Nobody really wants safety help till you really need it. I, I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's, I don't know. Um, long story short, I'm fine with with uh, Jeff Heath over George I. Loke. Even if I go to Jeff Heath's 2017 campaign uh, where he had five pass deflections and three interceptions, um, let's compare that to I. Loka's 17 campaign. Okay, one interception. Okay, so, so they're about the same... In the past game, and Jeff Heath has still has more tackles than him, more solo tackles than him. So in 2018 and 2017, he basically out tackled George Iloka. Let's take a look at George Iloka the year before 2017. Then we're gonna get into some film, and that's really what what uh, what matters here. Keith says, "Am I am I live streaming with with uh, Mark Holmes later?" Yes, I am. Yes, I am streaming with Mark Holmes later. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, George Iloka, 2016. I don't think Heath was playing then, so, you know, whatever, whatever. But um, seven pass deflections, three interceptions, same as Jeff. Got you, got you, got you. What about, uh, what about, uh, what about tackles here? Solo tackles? George Iloka, 49 solo tackles. Compared to Heath's 63 solo tackles. I, you know, just... Y'all can make your own mind up about that. You can you can come up with your own with your own deductions there, but that's just my thoughts on it. I'm not I'm not stat guy. Never have been. Don't really like to be that, but I do pull up stats from time to time just to get an idea of what we're talking about here. But let's get into some film though, man. I'm 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 film guy. Let's get into some film. And the only reason I'm doing this live stream because I was watching film on George any damn way. 128 people watching live. Salute to y'all. Thanks, Thank y'all for being here. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. You're still anywhere in the world. Um, but you're here with me because of technology and stuff. Let's take a look at uh, George Alocas film. And this is going to be <laughs> like I'm playing his whole 2018 campaign because it's only 19 snaps. 19 snaps, And we're going to get into some of his uh, 2017 stuff. But what you see here is special teams guy. <laughs> kind of like Jeff Heath. You know what I mean? Kind of like Jeff. I would say the one thing that kind of separates these guys, and, and you know, I would say this in favor of Jeff Heath as well, I feel a little more comfortable um, with Jeff Heath at range than George Iloka. It's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just my thoughts. Um, and before somebody asked me, um, okay, so Coach Evans said what number? So George Iloka is going to be 23 in um, in Minnesota, but he's going to be 43 in uh, in Cincinnati. So when we get to the Cincinnati film, I got to do a uh, got to do a do a pretty decent job of pointing out to y'all. I don't have a marker. I don't have a a mark because I'm I'm mirroring this window here. But um, you know, I'll just uh, talk y'all through it. But this is just special teams, right? I don't even want to get into a special teams bag. But let's just... oh, oh, they faked it. Oh, they faked it. Okay, cool. But yeah, George Alok is 23. So let's see. Let's uh let's get into a to an actual play play. Let's get into some play play. Let's see what's going on here. We're just going to watch a little film on the go. And I got my chat box pulled up on the side, so. <laughs> he said I got the cartel view. I do have the cartel view. So, uh, George Alok was 23. He's lined up right over, uh, who's that, Michael Thompson? Just beat him down the middle. What the hell, George Alok? <laughs> boy, I know y'all want to cuss Jeff Heath out. But boy, oh, boy. Okay, so let's take a look at the top of the field, right? Um. 
So they got three receivers to the right. Cool. If you count down one, two, that third DB that's lined up right over the guy that caught the ball, that's George Iloka. I'm not making a proclamation here. Uh, I'm, this ain't this ain't doctored up. I'm just playing this in order. This is the first play I got in the game pass. Let me hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me just let me just be righteous about this. All I typed in was George Iloka, 2018, 2017, and we just happened to be at the Saints. <laughs> we just got a deep pass over the middle of the field right on George Iloka. Let's take a look and see. I promise I'm not doctoring this up. That just happened to be the first play. Oh, man. Oh. To be fair, that's Michael Thomas, but it ain't like Michael Thomas did Michael Thomas things and beat him with, like, route running or whatever. Mike just kind of ran past him. And George kind of didn't turn well right there. Just, just like, watch him turn. Just look at... That kind of looks a little funny, right? Look at George turning right there. Yeah. Look at George turning right there. I don't look great. Yeah. Yeah, pretty good job by uh, 22, whoever the hell this is. 22 turned and got to the ball pretty well. He was late. He was a, He couldn't get to the ball, but he turned and got there well. But George Alo kind of got, got in his foot race. So, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll, keep, uh, we'll keep on going. Why did I sit entertainment? Damn, this is going to be a bash George film session. No, we just going to run the film. Like I said, this is live. There's no editing here. If if it's cool, you know what I'm saying? If 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 he makes a good play, we'll say he made a good play, but he got a ran pass right there. So, <laughs> you know. Uh, let's see, where's George now? Uh, I'll take a look and find them, and then I'll come back. Okay, so I think this is uh, this is one of this is something that you can kind of hang your hat on on um, on a uh, George Bean. George is a uh, he's a tackler. I will say that he's a tackler. He's he's one of those missile type players. Uh, CTE Schmitte. He's the uh, he's the deep safety at the at the top. So he'll be uh, that's technically still strong, but we'll see. And he's gonna come down, dig his way through traffic, and. He'll make the tackle. Didn't didn't necessarily land wood there, but that's okay. What the cartel view look like? But he did get there and make the tackle, air quote, so to speak. But we'll keep looking though. We'll take a look at the cartel view. I hate these green jerseys, but whatever. George 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 looks a little. Come on, George 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 looks a little looks a little cumbersome there. Like he's uh. Like he's barely getting around. So I, I I don't know if he was hurt though. Nobody said he was hurt. And I doubt he got hurt. You good. I, I doubt he was hurt because, you know, he, he played 19 snaps. He, <laughs> he, he played 19 snaps. I, 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 I doubt you got hurt playing those those handful, but you know, he just didn't play. And, you know, uh, like I said earlier, there are some new people in here. Um I talked to my Vikings, um, my Vikings consultant, said he fresh. And he was like, it, you know, there's a reason why. Pretty good play there by George. There's a reason why uh, uh, Cincinnati just let him walk and he gets to the Vikings. He's a rotational depth guy. Um, on this play, he's going to read the bubble and get to it. Sure. He gets there. I'm not going to hate on him. He gets there. I've seen I've, I've seen guys read bubbles and get there quicker, but he got there. Can't hate on him. Can't hate on him. If you need to see a cartel view, there it is, cartel view. Let me take a look at the uh, chat box, see what y'all are talking about. He's pretty big. I'll give you that. He's 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 pretty big. I look as a fifth rounder. We could have drafted and didn't. He's basically a depth signing and and that cannon will complete BC. We need every position. Yeah, I feel. I, I mean, if you want somebody to come in and make Kayvon Frazier uncomfortable and uh, make Kayvon uncomfortable and compete with Jeff Heath, I mean, sure, I'm with that. I'm with that. George is deep now. Let's see what he does deep. Let's see. Let's see what he looks like deep. He read that late, yeah. Not gonna bash, but he did read that a bit late. Let's see when the uh, when did the ball come out of Josh's hands here? Right there, the ball's out of his hands. Yeah, you already got got on that side of the field. Both of y'all got got. Come on, Sadie Fresh, why you why you, why your safety's giving up plays like this, man? <laughs> come on, man. Oh man, Coach Evans said I could get there three over three. Yeah, Coach, you you you, you. I feel you. <laughs> You're absolutely right, Cole, but hey. 
What about more as offense coordinator? Why aren't we talking about that? Well, Alex, appreciate you for the uh, for the the uh, super chat, but I think we've put a lot of time into talking about Kellen Moore being an offensive uh, offensive coordinator. Like I say, I always encourage people to go back and find a video on my channel. I've made plenty of videos about it. Um, I got on the dry erase board and drew up certain plays that Kellen Moore could run. I um, I talked about it with the Randall Cobb video. I made a whole how does how does Kellen Moore affect um, the Dallas Cowboy offense. So go go and uh, check that out. I look it's deep down bottom here. You see twenty three. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Who said he first said Amen? <laughs> uh, he's gonna he's gonna take a back step, man. Be aware, man. Be aware. Come up and make that tackle, man. Quit going backwards. What you, what you going backwards for? Think about the situation. George is an upgraded Xavier Woods. You a damn alive prime. I'm going to leave you alone. <laughs> I'm going to leave you alone. Uh, the is watching film on George Aloka. doesn't matter what George knows. Rashard will get the best of him. And, you know, a lot of people putting this faith in Chris Rashard like he a damn... Chris ain't done nothing yet. Chris ain't done nothing yet. Oh, Chris hasn't. What well, what has Chris done? <laughs> what has Chris done besides saying, you know, Byron could probably play corner? Besides that, what has he done? You know what I mean? It blows me sometimes. And this this ain't a rant. I promise. I promise you it's not a rant. And I'm not mad. But it shocks me how Chris Richard gets more respect than Rob Marinelli around here. I've seen Rob Marinelli coach George Selvey in the sacks. He's coached Jeremy Mincy in the sacks. You know what I mean? He's made regular guys superstars. Chris Richard say, hey, take the long rangey first round pick and put him at corner. <laughs> and he's God DB coach now. All of a sudden he could take George Aloka and make him a star. Like Mike Zimmer a bitch now? Mike Zimmer? Come on, fam. <laughs> come on, my guy. Minnesota is DBU, fam. If Mike Zimmer can't get it out of George Iloka, what make you think? What make you think Chris can? And I'm not hating on Chris. <laughs> come on. Byron Jones, mic drop. The first round pick, sure. The first round pick, yeah. The, the, the long, rangy first round pick that got the damn record and broad jump. That guy. Oh, yeah. Okay, sure. Okay, mic drop. Pick your mic back up. Come on, man. Anyway. <laughs> Come on, my guy. Come on, my guy. Look, man, I, 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 I ain't mad. <laughs> I ain't mad. But damn. George I look on kick return. <laughs> I mean on kickoff. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> like a love letter. I care nothing about that. I care nothing about that. Mike Zimmer got more respect to me than Chris Richard. I've seen Mike Zimmer do it longer than Chris Richard. Let's pause this. Let's pause this. Let me let me ask y'all a question then. Who's the better Who's the better defensive coach, Mike Zimmer or Chris Richard? And this and how y'all answer this will kind of paint how the rest of this conversation gonna go. I'm either gonna let it go <laughs> or I'm gonna argue some more. Who's the better defensive coach, Mike Zimmer or Chris Richard? Who's better? Who's the better coach? Who's the better defensive coach? I just want to know. <laughs> I just, I just want to know. Chris, boy. <laughs> Chris. It don't matter. DB coach, defense coordinator, it don't matter. Who's the better defensive coach? Talking about Chris got Super Bowl. Excuse me? Who's the better defensive coach? Chris got AB's confidence up. You know what Chris did? Chris made AB play nickel and say, we going to leave AB at range so he ain't got to think too fast. I, Vach said that. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm not hating, fam. But if Zimmer can't bring it out, what's Chris going to do? And the only reason I'm saying this is because we're looking for a reason to prop up, to prop up a guy to bring another guy out, to, to push another guy off the bridge. 
That's what I'm saying. We want to get rid of Jeff Heath, so we're going to create this scenario to make George Iloka better than Jeff Heath. Let's push Jeff off the bridge because Chris Richard can bring out the best in George Iloka. No. <laughs> Let me get back to the film, man. I'm, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. What's up, Pat? I'm hating, so I'm chilling. <laughs> I'm hating, Pat. Why didn't he bring out the best in Kayvon Frazier and Jeff Heath? They, they, they all got drafted around the same area. Like they, they're all day day three picks. So, you know, you know, why hasn't Chris Bashar brought the best out of those guys? Just ask the question. Just ask the question. <clears throat> I'm hating though, so I'm gonna chill. Let's get back to the film though. I'm I'm a film guy. I'm I'm a film guy. So let's 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 get back. Let's get back to the film. <laughs> Watch out. Yeah, I'm hating. I'm hating on Chris Richard. I'm hating on George I Loke. I'm I'm hating. <laughs> oh God, I'm hating. Let's uh let's take a let's uh take a look at George here. George is where is he at? He's playing at depth. He's the depth guy right now. Let's see. Pretty good fight right there. Pretty good fight. Let me make sure I'm lined up on my OBS so y'all can see my film well. Yeah, we good. We good to go. All right. Um, so he's the deep safety right now. He's the deepest guy. He's going to read it in front of him. Then he's going to come down. I kind of want him to read this screen a little bit earlier, though. Um, <clears throat> we're running a screen in front of him, a slow screen, actually. And da 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 get, get, get downfield right now. Get downhill right now. Because the more depth you give us, that's what we want. Like, if I'm the offense calling the screen and you want to keep getting depth, I'm with you. <laughs> I'm with you. Go get depth, my guy. Go get depth. But I need these uh, Vikings DBs to get downfield fast. If I give George credit, I give him credit for um, not just getting blocked, but fighting over the top and making that tackle. So I give him that. <clears throat> nah, Vach not hating. He's voicing his opinion. I, you know, they sound right. They sound right. George been he's been in the league uh since like 2012 or something, I believe, coach. Could be wrong. <clears throat> but like six or seven or so years, like I wanna say right around right around the same time Jeff uh Jeff came into the league. I wanna say. Jeff is good, but I don't want him as a starter or primary. He needs to attack more of that Rams game, the whole game was on his head. I'll tell you what. If you take a if you take a look at the at the um the Rams game, I don't think Jeff and Xavier did a bad job in the passing game. Cause Je Jared Goff was never able to really pass on us. Like the the few times we could not get the ball run on us, we made Jared pass the ball, we were fine in pass coverage. And they got some gangsters like wide receiver tight end. They they got some guys that could play. So as far as versus the pass, I, I'm I'm fine with how they did versus the uh, versus the pass, but I always tell people it's two things you got to do to run the zone effectively. You got to move a gap, and you got to block the mic, and um, they were able to do that. They were they were able to control a gap and to block our mic linebacker. So if those guys get blocked, we in some deep doo doo, man. We in some deep doo doo. George Aloka on on uh, kickoff, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> let's get up out of here, man. Let's uh, let's take a look at the play play. Actually, man, I'm I'm done with Minnesota George I man. I think I think we have a good grass, and that was that was the last play anyway. So, yeah, let's get into Cincinnati George I He's gonna play a lot more free safety here, and he's number forty three. He's the deep safety down bottom. So, let's take a look at him here. He's going to get down into the box. This is where I want him at. No, he's going to get back out. He's going to come back down. He's going to come back down. Yeah, yeah. You can't fool me, Georgie. <clears throat> now, this is where I want George, though. This is this is not – if if, if you got to put him anywhere, I want George Iloka right there. I don't want him deep. I don't want him at any kind – this guy deep as shit. I don't know why the hell he this deep. What's what's the down the distance here? What's the – what's the hole? Why is he that deep? Um – it's the first quarter, fourth and four. 
why the hell is your safety that deep? What in the blue fuck is I'm missing something. I don't know. Um but George Aloka in the box, man. If I if I could have him anywhere, that's mostly where I want him at. In particular, that's where I want him. But we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Especially when I only need four yards, but anyway. I ain't never seen Flacco pump before neither, but, you know, whatever. And it's just handed the ball along. And Georgia Loka made a play, so cool. Hey, I'm not hating on Georgia Loka. He made a play there. Good job, George. Pat him on the back there. <laughs> Salute to George. Let's see. He's the he's the he's the safety down bottom now as well. So this is him playing in the free. This is him being, you know, he's walking down as free. He's not deep right now, but he is lined up at free. What in the cluster f- <laughs> What just happened right here? Okay, cool, cool, cool. I got you. I got you. I got you. Okay, cool. Cool. Um, is he is he elite? No. Is he super great? No. Nah. But he 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 can get he can get somewhere. He can get to his landmarks and he can make his tackles. I just think we get ungrateful because Jeff he's been doing the same shit for <laughs> last two years, but whatever. And I think Jeff plays a little better at range, but I don't know. Okay. Georgie. Good play by George. Not hating there. <laughs> this is uh 2017 for uh for uh context. This is when he was uh with uh Cincinnati here. Okay. Now George being a big guy, this is me nitpicking right now. This is me nitpicking whatever, whatever. With George being such a big guy, and it looks like this running back was pulling up to he was pulling up a little bit. I kind of want George kind of run through that guy. You know what I mean? If we're gonna upgrade from Heath and get a bigger guy in there, I want some guys. I want somebody that's gonna lay some wood and not just tackle like Jeff Heath would tackle. If we're gonna replace Jeff with George, I don't want him to tackle just like Jeff. That was a, that was that was a little man's tackle. <laughs> that was a small man's tackle. Jeff Heath misses his tackles. No, he doesn't. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Jeff missed a tackle or two, and, and he's been labeled as a bad tackler. Come, come on. Come on. <clears throat> That's too much right there. That's too much. Coach Evans is Baltimore Raven smoking the hell out of these guys. Uh, Yeah, read your keys, George. Read your keys, George. With the offensive line blocking left, I don't care who the hell running right. I don't care if, if, if Flacco and Collins running right. If the offensive line blocking left, nine times out of ten. And I do mean nine times out of ten. Going left. But George let him get the angle. Hey, y'all want to talk about angles? Y'all want to talk about Jeff Heath and his bad angles? That's not the greatest angle there by George. You can tell by how he tackled him there. But I'm not nitpicking George. I'm just, you know. Going based on what we're talking about here. He made a tackle, but I would like that angle to be better. Let's take a look at cartel view. Yeah, got you. Got you, got you. Oh, USC's Buck Allen. Salute to Buck Allen. Mm, Jeff Heath would have missed that tackle. Boy, y'all hilarious. <laughs> Boy, y'all funny. Boy, y'all hysterical. Uh, he's the safety down bottom. He's the deep safety down bottom. Let's see what he do. Okay. Let's go back and see what he did there. And, and you know what? I could tell he saw it. I could tell he saw it right there. I could tell he saw it. He just got a little too deep right there. He just backpedaled one inch too much. But, hey, he played on the ball, made the tackle. I can't hate him. Can't hate him. He was just a tick. Just a tick. But I feel you. Chris Giddens says, go look at Heath film. I bet it's not pretty. If you go look at my channel, I've made plenty Jeff Heath films. And Jeff ain't, Jeff ain't as bad as people say. Is it, is it, is it, is it, is it because he's a white guy? Let me, let me just kind of ask that. Like, is it, is it because he's a, he's one of four white DBs? Like, is, like, is that a thing? I'm just asking. I just want to know if that's a thing, you know. You know, because it could be the whole... Like, if I saw a white corner, I'm going, you know, what? <laughs> like a white running back, you know? <laughs> Chris McCaffrey is the exception, man. Oh, boy. I'm being crazy. Let's see what else we got. ESPN will fire me for that, but 
ESPN would 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 fire me and they'll throw me in that Ron Ron Harper cornball brother category and they'll get me up out the paint and send me to Fox News. But <laughs> uh, yep, everybody got credited there. Let's get up out of here. Let's see. Let's see the next play. Let's, let's see what the chat box talking about. Why this play? I never seen a white corner. One exists. I just <laughs> forgot. I just I just forgot where I saw him at. But there is a white corner that exists. Uh, well, it's not because he's white. It's because he's trash. Well, to be fair, if Jeff Heath was 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 trash, I think he'll be exploited a lot more. I think it's hard to have a top tier defense with a player that could easily be ex- exploited. I don't think Jeff Heath is trash enough to uh, you know be exploited. You know what I mean? So you know. I don't subscribe to Jeff Heath is trash. He had more tackles and interceptions than George Iloka. Is George trash? <laughs> Come on. They're saying Jason Seahorn. There's a there's a white co- wait a minute. I'm trifling as hell. Hold on. And hey, we're gonna get right back. <laughs> we gonna get right back to Jeff Heath. I promise. You say Jeff Seahorn? Let me take a look at this. Let me take a look and see. Let me go to let me go to search. Let me go all the way to all the way to all the way to all the way to what you gonna see? What you gonna see? Jeff C. Who is Jeff C. Horn? What team he play for? Jason C. Horn. My bad. <laughs> I type in Jeff. Everybody, every white guy's name named Jeff. <laughs> I'm racist. Okay. Let me see. Jason Seahorn. Who the hell is Jason Seahorn? He ain't in the league. What, he's a college player or something? I never heard of him. Ah, years ago. 2000, John. Okay, cool. Well, I, well, I ain't got Jason Seahorn. I ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't got no film on Jason Seahorn. I ain't, I ain't got no film on that. <laughs> Back to our local. <clears throat> I was kind of ready to see the white corner, man. I was kind of excited. <laughs> to see if the white corner could play. I, I, I was, I was, I was, I was about ready. But anyway, let's uh let's get back to Iloka. Yeah, this was that screen or whatever, this uh the little tunnel joint. Whatever. He's on YouTube. So am I, fam. So am I. And that gets crazy. Jeff Heath is replaceable and probably will be. I do agree that Jeff Heath is replaceable. My big point is that George Iloka is also replaceable. I would say that. Iloka is more replaceable than Jeff Heath. That's just that's that's my point here. That's why we're here. Honestly, that's why we're here. You know, and you and you can say Vach Hayden, sure Vach Hayden, but I think Jeff's a little. I, I think he's a little better than um than uh, George Iloka. Now, if you want to draft me a safety, I mean, if you can get me Jonathan Abram up in here, in which we probably won't be able to, but if you can get me Jonathan Abram up in here, then Jeff probably gets put. No, no, then. George gets pushed pushed off the bridge. Jeff goes into a rotational guy, and then Abram is the upgrade, right? I just don't see, um, I don't see Iloka as an upgrade. Also, I don't see God DB coach Chris Richard being able to to fix him. I just don't see that. That's just not what I see. But anyway. Damn, that's another angle. <laughs> Boy, Cowboy fans love that word, angles. I don't like that angle. Yeah. To say he's a big guy, he doesn't tackle like a big guy. You know, he tackles like Jeff Heath. He 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 does that old rap and fall technique, which works. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. Like, rap and fall works. But, yeah. I want to see George Loka cover somebody. Can I get that? Can I get a – let me see if I can find, like, a pass deflection from George Iloka. Let me see. Um, pass incomplete. Let me – um. can I type in incomplete pass? Can I go to incomplete passes and interceptions? Let's see. Let's see what he was doing on those plays. And let's add well, – six plays? Okay, cool. So let's add a couple more seasons. Let's add 2016. Let's go 15, 16, and 17. Let's look at his incomplete passes, which would be like deflections. And 
interceptions. Now this is this is me cheating. This is me, you know. <laughs> This is me uh, uh, hyping hyping the narrative, so to speak, for George L. Oak. If I came out here and only showed deflected passes and interceptions, then I'd be wrong. But we'll see. George L. Oak is the uh, top safety. That's uh, He's right around the 40 right now. So let's see. Look at those arms, though. God damn. Now he hurt. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> get up, George. Uh, get up, George. But that might be what what uh Chris Richard likes that those long arms. I give his ass that he's a big one. That's a big old boy. I give him that. He read it pretty well. He was the help over the top. That's a quarterback fault, Coach Evans. That's your quarterback fault. <laughs> Wait a minute. Time out. Wait a goddamn minute, Coach Evans. You in the chat box, <laughs> Coach Evans. Wait a goddamn minute. <laughs> oh, Coach Evans. This show this show quarterback fault. Oh, Coach Evans, this show quarterback. Coach Evans, please, man. Coach. Coach. I play center. I never played quarterback a day in my life. You can't throw this though. <laughs> With the safety over the top, you can't throw this. Coach, why doesn't he go to the slot guy that's going over the middle? Cause it's like Space in the coach. <laughs> Damn, Joe Flacco. Damn, shouts out to the shouts out to the Broncos. I can't even, in good faith, credit this to George Iloka. I can't, even though he missed his interception. It would have been an interception. I can't credit this to to George Iloka because a regular NFL quarterback don't make this throw. You're not supposed to make this throw. Holy shit. Anyway, sheesh. That ain't Flacco. Who is that then, Coach? Who, who, let's, let's go to Cartel View. Who is seven? Oh, that's... uh. I'm thinking it's the damn Falcons, man. This the. Uh, I mean, I'm thinking it's the Ravens. It's the Vikings. Say it. <laughs> Wait a minute. My bad, Coach Evans. This ain't the Ravens. It's the damn Vikings. This is Case Keenum. Say it. <laughs> Why the hell Case Keenum make this damn throw? <laughs> Holy shit. Let's move on to the next play. I'm bugging, man. My bad, coach. I thought that was the Ravens, man. I was ready to talk shit about Flacco. That's that's uh Is that Christian Ponder? How old is this fucking film? George I Loke ain't had interceptions, Christian Ponder. No, it's Case Kingdom. That's Case Kingdom. Okay, shit, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Y'all can tell I'm doing this on the fly, but that's part of what makes this endearing. No, it's not Sam Bradford. It's Case Kingdom. It showed me the, it showed me the thing. That's case game. Uh, what I miss here? Where's Iloka so I can track him? Iloka. He's down in the box, man, but it's jumbled down there. It's jumbled. But you can see him on the on the back end of the play. Uh made the uh tackle as the catch was being made. He just jarred the ball out, but but damn, Case Keenum, you can't make that last throw, fam. You you can't you can't make that last throw, bro. You, you can't do that. That's against the rules. Marcus Mariota wouldn't even make that throw. Uh, it's probably George I look at the safety up top. Let's see. It's a terrible fuck. Who who throwing this? I know. I just gave Marcus credit for not. <laughs> fam. That's so dangerous. I can't credit it. That's that's so dangerous. That is so dangerous. Holy shit, man. Whatever. Whatever, my guy. Uh who makes that throw? What? Who makes that one? Even if he almost came down with it, who makes that throw? So if Iloka gets a pick before Heath does, who will you start, you think? And that's another thing, man. We, Because I know this is going to happen. The first tackle George Iloka makes, people will go, oh, shit, oh, wait, a minute, wait a minute. But Heath makes tackles too. Jeff Heath, Jeff Heath makes tackles too. <laughs> it's just that we're going to be, we're going to forget. We're going to forget. But it is what it is, man. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to stand on this, man. I'm going to absolutely stand on this. 
Um, for those of you that are just now tuning in, this has been refined down to past deflections and interceptions. The ball was caught there. It wasn't, wasn't necessarily deflected, but uh, tight end just 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 dropped it, man. You know, I local was in on that on that uh, on that tackle yet on the on that tackle there. Pat say you gotta go. Salute, Pat. Thanks for coming through, fam. Mm. Yeah, that was, yeah, yeah. That was just a drop. Miss Sheila says she not impressed. I mean, I oh, we got interception. Oh, wait, wait, we got interception. Let's see, let's see where George at. George is the safety down bottom. He's the safety at the bottom of the screen. Let's see what happens here. Uh, okay, he was playing catch with George Alokas. <laughs> okay, <laughs> who the hell is this, Tyrod? Tyrod threw that thing straight, straight to Georgie. Boy, that's insane. I got to see that cartel view. What is this? I got to see this cartel view, man. Tyrod threw that thing. Pardon me, Tyrod. He threw that thing straight. (laughs) (laughs) I thought I was just straight to George Alonga, man. <laughs> oh snap. I see a lot of people calling George Aloka uh Cam Chancellor, man. I need y'all to stop. I just told y'all a couple times. And George George's interceptions came from like triple coverage. <laughs> George's this is crazy. Um George is not Cam Chancellor. George doesn't hit tackle or take angles like cam chancellor when when we were showing the tackle reel earlier we saw uh you know we saw a handful of angles that resulted in side army looking tackles or whatever he didn't really lay wood like uh cam chancellor come on cowboy says george is more like an more of an ed reed my god come on man come on man stop it man please if you don't mind stop it Forever DC, I could be wrong, but I believe Jeff Heath had more turnovers than anyone else. Sure, um, that's uh, that's what I was saying. You know, like um, I think he has more interceptions than Cheeto and Byron. I think he he only uh, I think Sean Lee is the only one that has more interceptions than than Jeff Heath. But um, besides that, all the other corners and DBs they don't have more interceptions than him, man. Ed Reed, <laughs> look at Chris. Uh, let's see. He drops an interception. A lot of these players are just plays going going straight to Georgia, and I, and I can't be mad for Georgia local man. Let's uh, let's get rid of George, man. Let's clear all that up. Let's type in Jeff Heath, and I promise we're gonna go. I'm not gonna be here long. I just want to type in Jeff Heath. Jeff Heath. He played 18 and 17. Let's go to. His incomplete passes and interceptions reels. Let's take a look at what he did. We good there? All right, we good there. I was there when he picked off Jameis. Wait a minute. Where, where, that, damn, where that damn Jameis Winston interception at? Because I know Jeff, he picked off Jameis Winston one of these years. What's that, in 2016? He won us the game like that. Right there. <laughs> picked off Jameis Winston. All right, cool. We're going to run Jeff Heath's. Interception and incomplete pass reel. Mm-hmm. You know who Jeff Heath is. He's 38. He's up top. He's in the box. He's next to uh next to Jalen Smith there. Now, the difference between this pass breakup and what I've seen from George I Loke, and I promise you, it's only one. I'm not making a I'm not making a proclamation here. I'm not saying nothing. But it looks like Heath read this thing. Opposed to just being around, you know what I mean. And I ain't saying nothing because I know y'all y'all go y'all ready to say I'm saying something, but I ain't saying nothing. Look like he just read this thing a little better. I ain't saying nothing though. Let's keep watching. Then we're gonna get into Heath's tackle reel, and we're gonna see see how he how he tackles. We just, just watching film, y'all. I was go, I was gonna watch this film anyway. I was I was gonna watch this film anyway, but I was like, hey, I might as well watch with y'all. Heath is the deep safety. He's the only deep safety now, but he's uh he was down bottom, so 
I'm not making a proclamation. I'm not saying anything. But this shows a lot more range. Now my computer messing up. Oh, the Illuminati trying to get me. Wait a minute. The Illuminati trying to get me. Wait a minute. Hold on. This play shows range. Jeff Heath is on the right hash right now. Jeff is on the right hash. And he's going to work his way, make his read, plant his foot, and go. And he goes and he goes. This wasn't Jeff Heath being in the being where the ball was thrown. What we saw from George was a lot of Tyrod threw it to me. Case Keenum shouldn't have made that read. Oh, this is me in triple coverage. Heath was in the middle of the damn field. <laughs> right hash to middle of the field. Red. And he, look at how early Heath is reading this thing. Wait a minute, wait a minute, call your ass back. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Heath is reading eyes right now. You, you can see Heath's hips turning right now. Look at Jeff Heath's hips turning to the damn ball. And the quarterback ain't even threw, threw the ball yet. Y'all talking to me about some I loca. Excuse me. I don't care about no throw. It took the read before the ball was thrown. I ain't saying nothing. I'm not making a bold proclamation. I want to keep watching the film. <laughs> I want to keep watching the film. I'm going to shut my mouth and we're just going to watch. We're just going to watch. I'm just, we're just going to watch. I'm not going to say nothing. We're just going to watch. Um, and in case anybody think that there's any tomfoolery here, I typed in Jeff Heath <laughs> Incompletions and interceptions, just like I did with um, George Aloka. And after this, we're going to watch Jeff Heath's tackle reel, um, just like we watched with George Aloka. Um, Jeff Heath is in the box now. He's down bottom. He's the white guy. <laughs> Pretty good coverage there. Damn good coverage there. Uh, he didn't get his head around to find the football because I'm I'm being fair. He didn't he didn't get his he didn't get his head around to find the football, but he was right there. He did disrupt the pass. He did kind of get in the face of uh of uh Vernon Davis there. Solid play, but I'm not saying nothing. I ain't saying nothing. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. <laughs> Jeff Heath is the uh is the deep safety right now. Okay, I don't give Jeff Heath credit for this. I don't give Heath credit. Heath was in the right place at the right time. See, I'm being fair. I'm being fair. Can I be fair? I'm I'm being fair. I'm being fair. Heath happened to be now he had to get to that side of the field. Let's see what what's the uh what's the coverage here? Let's see. We got man up top. Uh, cover one looks like. So look, Heath had to decide to get to that side of the field. It's cover one. But he got there. Da da da. Boom boom boom. He did his thing. But shit. We'll keep watching. I ain't saying that. I ain't I ain't saying that. It's just, you know. Uh Stephen Stephen Pryor says a bunch of middle tier quarterbacks. Hey, well that, that's the league, <laughs> ain't that the league? Shit, the Cowboys play. Uh, they play the Buffalo Bills, and we play the Jets, and we play the uh, the um, the Bills, the Jets. We play the Rams. We play the Dolphins. We are gonna play a lot of middle tier quarterbacks today. I mean uh, next year, and I ain't trying to get ate up by none of they. We're gonna play the Redskins. We're gonna play a lot of middle tier quarterbacks next year. Eli, we're gonna play plenty middle tier quarterbacks next year. That's part of the funk. So is what that is. Let's take a look at Jeff Heath here covering. He's uh, he's down in the box. He's at the very end. He's gonna cover the tight end here. He gets over the top of Jalen and psh, fantastic coverage, Jeff Heath. Fantastic. Fantastic coverage, Jeff Heath. Somebody said Jeff was trash. I, 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 I ain't saying nothing. I'm just, I'm just gonna run the fam. I'm just gonna. Donald's gonna improve next year. I agree. I like Donald. Oh wait, hold up. Leave it to the cartel view to give you another angle of this. Look at Jeff Heath getting the hand in there. 
Look at him reading Deshaun Watson. He got his hand in there. Boy, look at Jeff Heath. I sound biased, but fuck. <laughs> Boy, Jeff trash, according to y'all, though. Shit, let's keep watching. <laughs> Jeff Heath's so trash, according to y'all. Jeff Heath is the deep safety up top. Let's see what he do. It's the Vikings. Let's see. Boy, is that some range, boy. Yeah, that pass was late, too. <clears throat> that pass was late, too, but uh, Jeff does have a little more range than I local, man. Just as a range guy, just the ability to cover grass, I think Jeff Heath has a lot more range than I local. Even though this was the right place at the right time deal, I still think. Whoever's saying Jeff Heath is trash doesn't doesn't watch football enough. And you know what, vet uh uh cowboy vet seventy one, I agree. They haven't watched football enough. A lot of these people just kind of watch the game and move on with their life. I encourage everybody to watch film or to find a Dallas Cowboy YouTuber that watch film. That's me. Uh Law Nation, Fuster King watch film as well. And just watch the game more than once. Not I don't want not don't Get into the pageantry of what CBS is doing, the story mode, the 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 you know the storylines and all that. Don't get into that, man. Just watch the film, watch the game more than one time, and you will see things that you missed the first time. I've done film on on all these guys on this film on this field right now. I've done. D-Law, you know, we'll look at Tyrone Crawford. We'll look at the corners. I'll come back. So I've seen each of these games at least five, five, six times, and I learn something different every time. Watch the film. Watch the film. You'll learn so much. And I know that the the, the last bad taste in your mouth is Jared Goff running past, uh, past, past Jeff Heath. But Jeff Heath played on an elite defense last year, and he only gave up like three to four plays, which ain't terrible. It's not terrible. Heath isn't trash, but he's a but he's a mid tier uh but he's mid tier of NFL safeties at best. When you think about safeties, how many of them ain't mid tier though? You know what I mean? How many safeties are higher than mid tier? I don't know, man. I don't know. But Heath is a guy that can that can play deep. He can play in the box. Shouts out to Matt S for saying that. I don't think Al Loka can play deep very well. He can play deep, but he can play tight end as well. But you know, what does he do well? You know? Uh <clears throat> Jeff Heath is in the box to the right. Well shit, no the hell he ain't. Where the hell is Jeff Heath at? Let me see. Let me go back and see. Where he at? Oh, my apologies. My 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 sincere apologies. I didn't see Jeff Heath. Jeff Heath read the hell out that play. So Jeff, he's going to be the deep safety to your right. He's right over top of Cheeto was wearing 33 at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Jeff, he matter of fact, <laughs> look, <laughs> talking about the Raider game. Remember Jeff, he forced the fumble on Derek Carr. Y'all wasn't saying he was trash then. It's goofy ass. Let's take a look at Jeff Heath right here. Reading the play, reading the play. Psh, come on. Call Jeff Trash right here. Call him Trash right here. Please. Please call Jeff Heath Trash right here. He could have went with 87, but he was reading. He was reading the quarterback. He made the play. Why didn't he run with the tight end? Why didn't Jeff Heath run with the tight end? Because he's reading the quarterback and he's looking at Crabtree. I'm coming to make this play. He's trash? Fuck out. Fuck out of here. Derek Carr is trash, so is neutral. Please. Please. Get out of here. Get out of here. What the hell going on right here? <laughs> he picked off Eli Manning. It's always a good time to watch Eli Manning throw an interception. Let's see. Uh, Jeff Heath is a safety up top. Let's see. Pardon me. Pardon me. <laughs> boy, oh boy, y'all keep hating on Jeff Heath if you want to, boy. I'm not saying Jeff Heath is elite. I'm not saying he's top tier. I'm not saying he's great. But Jeff Heath is damn sure a starter. He's a damn good starter. I think he could play. 
to be fair, Vice, that Raiders game was the best of his career. Hey, we've been watching film all day, fam. We got, we got plenty to watch. We got plenty to watch. <clears throat> Whatever, though. Let me get back to this film. I'm, 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 I'm just gallivanting with y'all. I'm chilling with y'all, man. We just in the, we just in the chat box, man. We just, we just doing chat box things. Hold on, time. Give me a second. All right, we back. Where's uh, Where's Jeff? He's the bottom safety here. Let's see what we got. Can't give Jeff credit there. That, that's the right place at the right time deal. Uh, he made an interception. Salute to Jeff. But, you know, if that's what I was doing to Iloka, I'm going to fairly do it to Jeff Heath. But evidence is, is, is just letting us know, man, that, that Jeff Heath is much better at playing, playing range. He's a better cover guy. Um, I think he's better versed to pass, in my opinion. George Aloka is a tackler, but it's a lot more to the safety position than just tackling. Um, I think Jeff also gives you credit that he can flip to to from strong to free safety and still give you value in the passing game. I don't think George Aloka gives you that, but, you know. Jeff with another interception? Let's see what Jeff did. Well, he had Jeff is the safety up top. He's the white safety. <laughs> I'm a quit saying a W word, I promise. Look at Jeff reading this play, though. Holy shit. Look at Jeff Heath reading Alex Smith. Look at Jeff reading Alex Smith planting his foot and going. Holy shit. <laughs> There's no way you can, with in, in good conscience, call Jeff Heath trash. How many, how many people watching live? Who we, who we got watching live? 200 or so? 215 people watching live? Come on, man. Y'all must have forgot. Shouts out to Brother Okoye. Y'all must have forgot. But y'all think the last thing you saw. And I ain't mad at you. I'm not mad at you. You, you, you think the last thing you saw. And the last thing you saw was Jeff Heath pissing you off. But Jeff can play. Jeff can play. That's why I got faith in this front office, man. They just see guys. They just see they they get to see guys every day, all day, every day. Look at Jeff reading this. Look at Jeff reading this. Getting the ball out of there. Look at Jeff. Look at Jeff. This ain't an accident. I ain't doctoring this up. This ain't a highlight tape. Technically it is, but but I, you know, ain't no Photoshop. <laughs> oh man, he's not consistent enough. Okay, cool. Matter of fact, let me see. Let me see something. Let me let me just type type this in. Let me just go. George I Loka missed tackles. Let me let me find a stat on missed tackles. I'm 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 a I'ma look up George and I'm gonna look up Jeff. We're gonna see. I just wanna be fair. I just wanna be fair. And if uh and if George, if if uh, if Jeff misses more tackles than than George, then you know we just gotta be fair. We'll 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 be fair and we'll say that. Uh, how can I find a missed tackle stat? Somebody hook me up with that. What's a good get? Somebody give me a good missed tackle stat, and we'll look at it together. Cause I'm not, cause I'm not, you know, I'm not stat guy. I don't really care about them, but. There are some guys that are stat guys. Let's see. God damn, bro. Did you mean to do that? God damn. A sleep gamer than just. God damn. Let me pause everything. Bro, you ain't do that on purpose, man. God damn. Jeff Heath is a, is a hitter too. He retracted him. He didn't mean to do that. God damn. Oh, man. Talk to me, man. Tell, tell, tell me if you did that on purpose or not, man. If you didn't, we're going to have to talk about it, man. God damn. Ugh, let me know, man. Sheesh. Sheesh. Salute to you, though. If You know, if, you, if you're righteous, salute to you, man. God damn. Sheesh. Ah. Mm, he 
ain't say nothing yet. Hey, hey man, t- tell me something, man. I'm pausing the film session. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm pausing everything. God damn. No, dude, that was an accident. Can you send that back? Ah, oh, man, this uh, this goes through YouTube, man. This uh, all this is run through through YouTube, and YouTube takes thirty percent. Hey, hit me on my um, DM me on on Twitter, and we'll and we'll talk this through. We'll uh, we'll uh, run this and um, and uh, figure this out. Just hit me on Twitter, and we'll you know work it out or whatever. But let's get back to this film, though. Let's get back to this. Uh, to this website, uh, v o c h l o m b a r d i on 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 Twitter, or you can DM me on Facebook or something like that. Vach Lombardi as well, and we'll uh, and we'll talk that through. Sheesh, God damn, my guy. Mm. I tell you what, if you got like a like a like a checking and a savings account, put all your money in your savings account real fast. And if they charge at it, that shit'll decline or something. <laughs> do, do something, my guy. Do something. But uh, yeah, this ain't this ain't this ain't uh this ain't run through me. It's run through 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 YouTube or whatnot. But yeah, but just uh, hit me up on my on my uh, social media and we'll uh, and we'll uh, figure this out. Shit, my guy. <clears throat> La da 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 da. Can somebody help me find like a like a missed tackle stat? I'm trying to I'm trying to find it so I can be righteous because everybody is touching on Jeff Heath's miss um miss tackle thing. But um uh, I mean shit, help me find a stat. I don't think we can find a stat, so let's check and see. Let's check and see here. What's up, Law Nation? Doski Woski. Yeah, um, famo, call your bank. Call your bank right now, like within 20 seconds. <laughs> like, you gotta probably gotta do that shit quick. Call your bank and 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 let them know. And let them know so you can get that shit. Call the bank, call YouTube, because it ain't it ain't it ain't through me. Like if it was PayPal, I could send it right back to you. But this, you know, super chat. So call your bank, call, call YouTube and like do that quick. Like get off the live stream right now. Come back and watch this shit on demand, and um and you know get that shit straight. And you know if you can't get it done after that, then you know DM me and we can do that. <clears throat> uh, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We got stats right here. <laughs> he trying to pay my nah. He trying to pay my rent. Uh, my rent make my back hurt every month, dog. Every month. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. This ain't the uh, this ain't the super setup, Law Nation. So we, I can't send a link out on this one because this, you know, this ain't my normal setup. But uh, but we definitely gonna um, get back right when I get back to the to the normal setup. So where the hell is everybody getting getting the missed tackle stat from? Somebody. <laughs> Somebody, please. Because I would love to see the missed tackle stat. I would love to see if anybody can if anybody can help me with that. Mm, no, nope, I can't find it. But anyway, uh, how much time I've been doing this? How long I've been doing it? Hour 15? Yeah, that's about as long as I've been wanting to do it. I'm gonna check one more website. I'm gonna check one more website. Then we're gonna, um, then we're gonna run it. Then we're gonna get up out of here if we can't get it then. So I don't even like PFF. I don't. I don't check them for nothing. But they may have a, they may have a stat. Let's let's, let's hit stats and see what they talking about. I definitely. I'm not gonna pay for their premium stuff. I'm definitely not gonna pay for their premium stuff. Uh, I don't want grades. Um, sure. Let's look at snaps by position. Oh, there's a lot. There's a lot. All right, y'all. That's a wrap. <laughs> that's a wrap. Uh, they, 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 they saving their stuff for a premium. So, hey, if you're a, uh, if you're a PFF elite guy, I ain't really got all that much faith in them to subscribe to their joint. I don't look at them that much. I'm my own film guy. But, um, 
if anybody got faith in PFF and yeah, there's your there's your missed tackle stat right there. So if anybody's PFF savvy or they got it, they can um could they screenshot that the uh, George Alokas missed tackles for missed tackles for. Uh, 2017 and 16, and then send me Jeff Heath's missed tackles for 2018 and 2017. All right, uh, I'm be live streaming with Mark Holmes a little bit later, so be sure y'all uh, y'all uh, check me out on that. And um, famo that sent through the big ass super chat, yo, please don't forget to to you know call your people, call YouTube, call your bank. You know what I'm saying? Set all that shit up. And you know, do your best, and then hit me on the back end, and we'll uh, and we'll uh, try to try to figure that out. But uh, hey, man, y'all hold it down for the Doski Woski, man. I don't know when Mark is going live, but uh, you know, tweet Mark, tweet Mark, and see if he'll see if he'll uh, if he'll uh, tweet you back. You know what I'm saying? But uh, with that being said, man, y'all hold it down for the Doski Woski, bro. I ain't trying to paint no pictures. I ain't trying to make nobody mind on for you. I just simply wanted to give my perspective with a little bit of film to break it down, with a little little uh, film to uh, back it up. Okay, I'm about to go play Red Dead Redemption too, and uh, y'all be cool now. Salute.